What's going on everybody? Tony Martin from Martin's American Kempo Karate back with another Technique Tuesday. Hope everybody's doing good, gearing up for Christmas. So today we are going to do the sleeper. Now, I do a lot of stuff with the sleeper that has nothing to do with the extension or the way that it's written. Um, I feel like if you choke somebody out and then you have to hit them a whole bunch of times after they're already passed out, there's a lot involved with that. But let me show you the way that I work it. So, Mr. Austin, he's coming in with a right hand punch. It's written for block and then strike. So I like to collapse that. So that as that punch comes in, I'm checking and slipping. And when I slip this arm, I'm hitting with it, but I'm also squeezing. So I'm already starting to choke him right here. Yep. As I squeeze here, I'm stepping either behind and sweeping, or I can drive forward with my shoulder and let him choke himself, okay? Now, another fun thing I can do here, as that punch comes in and I check and I slip, I can actually grab his shirt. Now, whether he's wearing a gi, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, whatever, grab, still hit with my arm, and then my other hand, and let me get nice and close so you guys can see. My hand that was checking, this slit is gonna slip through and grab my forearm. So I'm going here, push, grab, squeeze. Okay? Once I get that squeeze in, all right, this is pushing forward. This is on my own forearm. I'm squeezing that together. All right. Then if I had to hit him again, because I'm not necessarily choking him out here, I'm just putting him in a lot of pain. Then I can take his head and put it on the ground. Drop, punch, all right. Taking the hand and wrapping it around him. I get that it rolls him <clears> over. <throat> if I have a hand to deal with here, it's easier for me to pull up, step, and let that roll over my shin, all right? So that could drive him, go ahead and roll over, over that way. Then, oh. knee to the kidney, kick to the groin, the jump and spin, and kick. No, not a big fan, sir. All in all, my favorite part about this technique is the choke. So that punch comes in, I check. This hand slips, grabbing nice and tight, getting my head tight to his shoulder. If I can pinch and put my hand on my own forehead here, that's tight enough where I'm literally choking him just standing. So I can choke and settle and if I really want to take it a whole nother level, I pinch my knees around his leg, choke, pinch, and drive him down to the ground. Okay? Good, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you. So that's just my take on sleeper. Get offline, slip that arm in, squeeze tight, pinching, get that head tight against the shoulder, or push the garment, slip the other hand in, get that figure four on the throat, and drive downward. Then if you want to punch and roll and drop and kick and all the other crazy that's involved, feel free. Let me know what y'all think. Go ahead and drop some knowledge in the comments. And uh, until next Tuesday, be safe. If you can't be safe, be deadly. And we'll see you then.